everybody, Max here for the How To Film Crew, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be taking a look at the next step in our visual effects journey, how to use drag and drop VFX. Pre-made VFX assets can be an absolute lifesaver when it comes to your content. When you're on a time crunch or don't have the resources to create custom effects, these are a really great alternative. Even though I create a lot of my own effects, I have used pre-made assets plenty of times. We used quite a bit in Abbey Star Superhero and DC Mysteries Batgirl because we had such a quick turnaround time on all the episodes. Also, don't forget to like this video and if you are new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you can get notified when new content is uploaded. And believe me, there is quite a bit on the horizon you're going to want to see but some of it will not be released until we hit our 1,000 subscriber mark. So if you want to see more of DC Mysteries, Batgirl, Supergirl, or Abbey Star Season 2, then help us get those numbers up. So today we will show you how we used pre-made assets in our wizard short from the green screen tutorial. Let's get started. All right, so back here, about this point, we want to be able to notice something. So I have pulled some things from productioncrate.com, uh, which is a great resource. They did not sponsor this video, but I use these guys. I have the pro subscription and it has saved me so many times. So I do recommend if you have the extra cash laying around, do it. It's, uh, it is a great resource. So let's go back to our video tab and let's move this. Oh, that's me. I don't want to move me. Let's go to this one. Let's move this over. We need this footage to actually stay all the way here. So it starts here, here. This is where we notice it. So what we're going to do is actually have the portal kind of jump in to here. So we'll set a keyframe, move back, and then zoom out where it is basically nothing. Appears out of need. And, and now we have this weird portal thing behind it. So that appears out of nowhere and boom, it's just doing its thing and I'm not happy about it and I say no. Talk to the hand. Yeah, you can tell how old I am because I actually used to talk to the hand. Just dating myself. Woo. Anyway, so as this dark portal opens up about here, we're probably going to want something bad to happen. So, um, I am a huge fan of HP Lovecraft, so I figured some tentacles flying out of the portal would be kind of fun. So I grabbed this asset also from Production Crate, and um, I just want to size that down first. Uh, double clip on your footage, because <laughs> um, we're not going to get the whole thing in here. Um, See about there. We're gonna trim it down at the end, and then we're gonna drag this back in. And see about how far we can get this in. We want it to kind of start right where this line is, and this is where it appears. And that actually looks pretty good from where it's at. I mean, you really don't need a whole lot more. I mean, just need to move it over just a little bit. Uh, so we're selecting that footage. We're gonna move it over just a little bit, so it's coming out of the portal and coming more at the camera, like it's moving, reaching more toward me. We don't really need to size it up, I don't think. Um, anyway, back over here. <laughs> we're going to do our color tab. Uh, we're going to click on our footage of the tentacles. And we're going to color grade these just a little bit. We're going to bring down some of that heat. And this is going to be a very, very simple one, right? We're not even really going to go too far into this. We're just going to bring down some of that heat. Make it a little cooler. Bring down that. Bring down our mid-tones just a little bit, and that's gonna make it blend just a little bit better than what it did before, so. Yeah, that looks a little better when it's coming out there, okay. And then here, we want them to kind of reach out a little bit, so we're gonna move this piece of footage down, so it kind of matches there. And we want it to start literally at the beginning of the clip there, so. These other two tentacles, we're just gonna have them kind of. We're actually gonna use these. I remember because these had like way too much weirdness going on. I don't know, we'll see. So 
like that. Bring him in here. That is a lot of slime or whatever coming off those tentacles. I don't think I'm going to use these. That's, that's a little much. That's a little much. Uh, I didn't use these on the other one. That's right. That's why I didn't use those, because of the slime. It's just a little, little much. So let's use this side one here. We're going to use these. Put them in. Same thing. Boom. And we are going to move these open. Since these are not sized correctly, I think there's this much smaller uh, aspect ratio on these. We're going to move them over, have them kind of move into the frame, and we're going to adjust pitch and yaw. This kind of gives you a faux 3D effect, so we're going to move it more this way so it counts like it's reaching. And we're going to zoom in a little more. It's reaching out for me. I'm going to zoom up a little more and then move it back. About like that. Okay, so that looks really cool too. So the only thing we need to do now is just add the uh, magic beam coming out of my hand to force this eldritch demon to go back to hell or, you know, wherever. Uh, so to do that, I have also picked up another thing from production crate, and that is this beam here. Uh, this is actually red, but we're going to use this effect. footage layer, and we're actually going to have it start right about there. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the position. Normally you can track this and be my guest. <laughs> um, I am not tracking it uh, because it's a very simple effect. I'm not actually worrying about doing the tracking that um, would normally be we're actually going to start like right up there. So we clip that and then drag it in. So we want the beam to start right there. So move it in. The beam will start here. So we move it home. So we're going to position it, dead center band, and then we're going to zoom in, scale it up a little bit, by doing that, really big, colorful, alright, very Marvel superhero type thing. Uh, yeah, so now we've got that moved up, uh, we're going to get a keyframe, and we're going to move back a little bit, we're just going to Jog back to about here. We're actually going to open this up a little bit. Move back to here. Do see it all the way the clip. And we're going to position over, move it down to kind of match the center of my hand. Or, you know, whatever you're doing. Go further back. And it stays roughly in the center of my hand. Moves a little bit, so let's actually move it back. And adjust just a little bit. And we can do that a little bit throughout the video. We don't really have to do the entire tracking process on this one. On other videos, you might want other shots. You might want to. I mean, obviously you want to, <laughs> but uh, this is a lazy man's tutorial. This is a very simple tutorial. We are not going into all of the finite details of visual effects today. We are just doing a little bit today as we go through. And we really don't even need to move it too far that way. Just kind of maybe just a little bit toward the end of the video. Just let it shift over a tiny bit. It's about there. Move it over. Over time. Okay. And we're going to put that to the end of the video. Alright, so then now you see this hand Boom! Hey, look at that. Cool. But Max, you're saying, it's red. The glow on you is blue. Oh, no. How do we fix that? Let's go to the color page again. So to fix that, obviously, you just go here to your lift gamma and gain. Fix it right in this one. And we're going to bring down the red. 
friggin' bring up our view. A little bit of green. I'm going to have a little bit of blue again as well. Brighten it up a little bit. A little bit of green. Look at that. It looks pretty darn good, but it's not bright enough. Also, we need to change the blend mode uh, from normal. Uh, you can do either add, it kind of gives it more of that energy look. Sometimes you lose some of the fine detail. So I actually like to use screen, personally. You keep a lot of the detail. It's not as bright, but to brighten that, you actually can do another little trick here that I like to do, and that is duplicate your footage. So, command, copy, paste, drag it right on top, and you automatically get a little bit brighter version that keeps a lot of what you needed. So now we have created this shot. Now granted, I went in and put some sound effects to it as well, but you can do on your own. Oh, ooh, actually, you know what? This blast is going on top. This needs to go dead center of the creature. So let's actually move this footage around a little bit. So to make this blast look like it's hitting the creature dead center and it's like eye or whatever, uh, we're gonna grab this footage later, move it out of the way. We're gonna highlight both of these, move these down and then move this footage layer on top of that. So now it does look like it's shooting the creature a little bit. Yeah. Don't do that. And there you have it. Some basics on how to use drag and drop VFX assets in DaVinci Resolve. And to stay up to date with our latest videos, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified when new content is uploaded. You can also check out our playlist section to get caught up on our other content, like our original web series, Abby Star Superhero, or our fan film series, DC Mysteries Batgirl. You guys have a great week, and we'll see you next time.